Hey, it's Aaron from EA Ski and Snowboard Training here and I'm going to give you a few tips now on uh, travelling by plane internationally and domestically when you head on your skiing throughout the training program. So tip one, uh, when you get on the plane it can sometimes when you get high in the sky be quite cold and chill down so take a warm top with you is tip number one. Um, there are blankets on the plane too but often they're so small they hardly even cover up one arm so take a warm top. Um, secondly it's also quite good to have in your hand luggage a change of uh, socks, underpants and maybe a t-shirt. Uh, even if you don't have lounge access, there are often in international airports um, showers and baby changing rooms where you can jump in, grab a quick change and freshen up uh, can make you feel the world, world of difference. Um, I personally choose to take jandals. Um, thongs for Australians or sandals for others uh, on the plane with me uh, as it's a nice free feeling and you can often get quite sticky if you keep your shoes and socks on. Um, so uh, then next, the next tip would be coming through customs, keep everything very simple for the customs officers. Um, obviously if you're coming through an internship program and you're working you need a work visa, uh, if you don't have a work visa you can't work, keep things simple, um, well presented and confident coming through customs, don't make things complicated for them. Uh, so thirdly, domestically, especially in Canada, often they charge you for um, headsets. So a little tip there is to take your own uh, headset um, or earbuds from your iPhone or iPod or anything else because they plug directly into the system and you don't need to purchase any. Um, that's, a, that's a few tips for you there, travelling internationally and domestically. And above all, just relax um, and don't get too stressed out up there. And don't drink too much alcohol on those international flights as it can get quite dry. Um, keep the water intake up. Cool.